All right, YouTube. Today's project. My wife's wigging. There's us down here, we call it a wagon. So the base is all rotted out of it. The seat came off. Um, I believe she wants to keep it as, you know, patina it as we can. I got this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna paint this really good. And uh, we'll silicone it on here. And then drill drain holes and then paint down the side of the drain holes. We just wanna, we can get, it's, got some, it's got some work to do to it. Um, so we'll pull these staples out and this is already cut. My, uh, my neighbor cut it for me. Um, but we'll, we'll look at getting this all painted and sealed first. And then uh, we'll come back. Because there's some things that are going to have to be repaired. This one right here, just a little, I don't know if I can fix that bolt. Um, it, it's loose enough so you can move this thing around. But you guys can see it's all bent. Well, that's because it's you know as loose as it is. So we'll try to see if we can't figure that out and everything else but this is the project for today we'll go into um, we'll go into the fast mode and while i paint that all right youtube so just one coat of uh, just white primer and you guys can see like right in this area it's really super thick possibly running a little bit but that's fine because it's going to soak it all up and that's where a crack is i'm just uh want to give it the best chance that it'll have now i gotta let that dry for a little bit and what part of me is thinking about doing is letting this dry the you know 30 minutes to an hour then painting it black and then let that dry, then flip it over and paint the other side because it ain't gotta be perfect and I can get the edges. This is just to seal it in so it doesn't all mess up. But we did get it painted, at least primer with white, but it will be painted black though. All right, YouTube, so right now, what we need to do is get rid of all this. All no good, can't use it anyways. Um, cut those out. I don't know if these are gonna work, they are not. Um, I don't know if these are fit in there, hopefully, so because we just got four of them. Oh, yeah, that's gonna work just, just fine. We'll, we'll use new hardware in there. Yeah, almost like it was meant to be used for that. Almost like bolt cutters are meant to be bolt cutters, right? Or, oh. Well, I don't know if this one's gonna work. This one doesn't seem to have wide enough left but we'll see there we go should have never doubted it there we go now in this thing there's a whole bunch of little staples guys on time lapse for that I am still thinking that we're gonna take this bolt because 
of where it's at in its strip. I think I'm just going to cut it off and I think we'll straighten this out and put it back on there. Tie it down a little bit. But uh, we're going to time lapse. Let's get those pulled out. May cut that real fast. We'll see. Still like in normal fashion. Something had to break. And it was this. And it was just barely welded on. Just like that. Just like that. That's all right. I've got a welder. We'll weld it back on. Um, now, as for the bolt that I pulled out of there, right? Well, here's a new one. And it's, it's too shiny, right? Plus, what is it just going to do anyways? What's this going to rust out? So... We're going to boil it in oil, get it super hot. And what this will do, if you can even hear me, is once I drop it in that oil, and keep it from rusting. So I get it super hot. I'm going to melt it, of course, but this one, of course, I don't think I can worry about that. And it should turn it black. All this is is vegetable oil. Drop it in there. Do the same thing with the nut. Get it super hot. You guys can see in there, they are now darkened in color. Well, the nut didn't do it as good, but it's not perfectly darkened, but they are a little darker. So, there we go. All right, YouTube, so here's what we got. Oops, sorry, these are just barely tacked on there. And since I gotta break my welder out anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and get my welder. I'm gonna come in from this side. And I'm gonna just Zeus it just a little bit. And uh, put this one back on here. We'll Zeus it too. I'm just trying to think of how exactly I'm gonna do this. I need a Zeus that, I need a Zeus that side before I try to do anything major in rebending these to make them line up. But I will probably put the put it all kind of semi back together right up here 
um, before I Zeus it. Not this side. I want to make sure this side didn't break off, but we'll do that probably first. And see, it's not super shiny anymore. And it won't rust. So I gotta go bust my welder out now. All right, YouTube. So what we got now is I'm gonna go through here and I'm gonna clean this up. See, it's got some of the stuff in here. And uh, once we get it all cleaned up, we're gonna get some silicone um, and put it down the side here. And then we'll set that new board in here. Then we're gonna nail gun it down. And then we're gonna give it a good minimum 24 hours to dry. I want it good and dry before we clear coat anything. Um, but also before we clear coat them, we are gonna drill some holes in here for drains. But I want that silicone to be good and dry before anything takes place so like that. So I'm gonna put you guys on time lapse and we'll start getting busy on cleaning this up. All right, YouTube. So all this white silicone will actually dry clear. Um, so won't be able to see it. And just in case if you're wondering why I use silicone, um, this thing's gonna be out in the weather. So I wanna try to seal that edge up really good. And uh, there's a little bit of a buckle in this wood. It's not perfect, but I'm gonna get into the exact perfect spot of it where it's at the bottom, we'll drill two holes, maybe a third one. Then we'll paint down the side there so any kind of wind or any kind of moisture will settle in here, will go out. But uh, as of right now, um, we're done for at least 24 hours. We're gonna let this dry really, really, really good. <clears throat> then all we have left to do is, well, bolting it into there and fixing this and then we'll clear coat everything. I want to let that silicone dry really good before I clear coat anything. Um, as soon as that's good and dry and we can get all this other stuff done to it, then we'll, the last thing we'll do to it is clear coat it. That way it'll hopefully help keep it a uh, little bit longer than what it will if we don't do it. So. That's it for this part of the video, but what'll be only be seconds to y'all, probably 24 to 48 hours. All right, so now it's all dry. So what we need to do now is get this screwed together. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna probably just flip this up on side, upside down and set it on top of each other and make little white marks in it. And then, uh, Drill holes through there, bolt it down. Um, I'm gonna drill the drain holes. And I think what I'm going to do after that is um, I'm going to put the little bench back on here. And then, well, I'll probably clear the bottom. That way it's done. And then, uh, then we'll put the bench back on here and we'll do the top. So I'll put y'all on fast mode and we'll come back to it. Alright YouTube, I'm trying to get better with the filming. Because of the urgency of 
be using the glue and everything. I'm going to do this next part pretty fast. I'm going to dab the glue in these areas and then get it in there. That way I can get these nails and just the glue in place. I just don't want to waste any of my glue. Go as fast as we can. Dab the glue right there. Don't go very deep, so that's the reason why I'm gluing them. Here's where I think it's going to get messy. Oh, you sorry, let to go down here. Absolutely love goop. I absolutely hate how fast it turns into a tacky mess, even though, but it won't hold anything until it fully dries. Well, yeah, it'll hold, but many of things you can do, I think, better than that, but. Now, it sure is leaning that one side, isn't it? I think it went all the way down over here. Exactly what I didn't want it to do. There, now it's leaning that one side a little bit, but that's because of the, the bend of this right here. No telling what happened to it in its past life, but... I 
I believe that'll work. Yeah, she's a little off, but maybe after it glues really good. Well, let's see if we can't do a little bit of tweaking on this side. All right, YouTube, and there it is. One Wigan, as my wife would call it. There's a funny story behind that. When I first met her, she said, we're gonna go take pictures up by the Wigan. I had no idea what she was talking about. Um, she's from the north, so wagon, wagon. Anyways, there it is. New bottom, clear-coated, seat put back together. Thank you all for tuning in.